approach this. So you guys will be earning a new are you listening quiz grade to be in here today and that's awesome. helping us make the answers. So we're given a contour map. And by the way, I am organizing your next project problems. They will be up um, maybe later tonight. But over the weekend, I will repost them. And so part of that assignment, you'll work with a contour map. Okay, so that's, I'm giving us a little bit of... Um, Out of curiosity, know. when's that one going to be uh, due? I, I have to finish putting it together and then I'll just... Oh, okay, okay. Because I kind of have to see, well, how long should it take them to... All right. Be nice. I mean, you always have at least a week. To at least a week. Okay, so we're given this contour map, and at first it's asking us to... And the function is called A because it's, it's the altitude, okay? So... Like our very first example on our chapter 14 surfaces notes, our first example was just supposed to be some, some land, okay? And so X, just, you know, think of like X direction being east-west and the Y direction being north-south. So it's just a movement in the 2D plane and then Y is a movement in the 2D plane. But then the output is the height, the z value. So a of x, y is the altitude or the height of a point on this surface. So first they're just asking us to estimate a 300, 300. So if we had moved 300 meters east and 300 meters north, so this is the x direction, that's the y direction, here's that point. Okay, it's wanting you to accurately read the map and figure out at what elevation you would be if you were at, again, I'm sorry, I know this is not real clear up here, but everybody has a copy in front of them or should have a copy in front of them. So read the map and tell me where we are if we are at X300, Y300, what elevation would we have? 70. 70, right. <clears throat> The, at 300, 300, the elevation is 70. How about 500, 500? In between 90 and 100, closer to the 100. 97? Um, I agree, 97 sounds good. Sounds good. Right, see, like Robert's recognizing that where they drew the 90 line or the 90 curve, all points on that curve, you're at an elevation of 90 meters. Mm -hmm. If you move to the next curve, all those points are at 100 meters, but you're in between the two. So it's not 90, it's not 100, it's in between the two. And I agree, you're closer to 100, so picking something above 95 would make sense. Okay, so I agree with that. Then notice what are they asking in number two? A sub X. So they're asking us to estimate the slope at the point 300, 300 if I move in the x direction. So honestly, it's, it's an estimate, so we can give different estimates. But if you did move from the contour line that you're on at 300, 300, and you moved directly in the x direction to the next contour line, how many meters did you move in the x direction? Uh, 100. I moved 100 meters if I went from here to here. Okay, because I, I mean, this is not always true between any two kinds, just for at that particular point, if I move directly east and hit the next contour line, I went from this mark to this mark. So that's 100 meters. So my denominator is 100 meters. What is my change of elevation? 10. 10 meters. So 1 tenth is our estimate for A sub X at the point 300, 300. So every one meter in the x direction, you go up 
100 meters, oh, sorry, every, sorry, every 10 meters in the x direction, you go up one meter in elevation. So one tenth. Um, how about a sub y from that point? So if I go directly, if I go directly north, look. Again, you could move 100 meters and estimate estimate off of that, or you could move to the next contour line and estimate off of that. I think I'm going to move to the next contour line. So for a sub y. I am still moving from the 70 contour line to the 80 contour line. So I know my numerator, the change in elevation is 10. Let's estimate what the denominator should be. 85. 85. Yeah, I would agree with that. Well, if you're, going, or 90. If you're going north, that works. If you're going south, if they're closer together, then they're about, like, about 60. No, I, I mean, the lines are still, I mean, this is still 400. Mm -hmm. and so, I'm, saying, I'm saying if you're going from that 300 to 300, if you went south to the next contour line, it's, it's just barely over half. But if you're finding A sub Y, you're assuming that you're increasing Y? I thought you were just assuming that you're that you're looking at as y changes from that point. Well, it is, but I would then have to make it negative. Would you have to make it negative then if you're going down? I mean, I guess we could look at both and see what. Is there a direction? Is there a direction implied? It, I, okay, it, it's a tangent. I'm sorry. <laughs> I mean, since I started drawing in this direction, no, no, you're you're fine. So go, go I ahead. thought you were headed yep. that direction. So I agree, 85 things right. Um, so I don't know, both of those are divisible by 5, so 2 over... 85 is the elevation from 300, 300 to um, 300, 85 100. is how many meters I moved from 300 on the way towards, like this mark right here is 400 meters. Right. It's how much you've moved north. In the context. So, like, if, if you if you are just tracking your location in terms of moving towards the north, I was at 300 meters, and I'm moving toward 400 meters, but when I hit this contour line, I can't quite reach 400 yet. So the 85 is how much I moved north is what it is. What would be like? That's the, that's the elevation. The 10 meters is the elevation. It's, you, you, you went up 10 meters, or right? Yeah, up, up 10 meters. Yeah, our elevation at 300, 300 is 70. And then when I hit that other contour line, my elevation is 80. Because that's what the little numbers on the, the lines are telling you. And to get up that 10 meters, you had to go. Oh, 85 is different between 400 and 300. How many more that the yeah, base are? Yeah, okay. it's how much you yeah. move north. Okay. Not how much you've moved up in the air, but how much you've moved north. Just one watermelon? Yeah. North. Watermelon? Oh, that's why I threw them out if you want one. I got that. I'm sorry, Warren, did you want one? Yeah, this is like Keeping clear of the candy. I was going to use it as a toxin. I'm just going to use it. No, you don't have to. Okay. Yeah, I was going to use it as a toxin. The output of the function. That's why I always snatch the candy and throw it in there. X is the output of the function. Okay. So I'm going to use it as a toxin. 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 I'm going to use it as a and it's just an amount of meters. There, there's some arbitrary point that's considered zero to zero. You know, so there's some point that the surveyor chose to make the origin. And X is just how much I moved east of that point. And Y is how much I moved north of that point. It's only one in the metro east. I used to love that place as a kid. That's a discovery zone. From this point? 